Hey everybody, it's Jonathan with SightSpeed. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick demo on how you can set up custom networks through Docker so that you can test your site using our Docker container for SightSpeed.io. So let's jump over to the website. Here we're on the SightSpeed.io website. Uh, we have a section dedicated specifically for throttling. Um, within this page we show you how you can simulate slow networks uh, on your Linux or Mac OS. Um, and then as you scroll down to the, towards the bottom, we actually have a section on running in Docker on Linux. So here we actually have a dedicated page for specifically doing the Docker networks that I'm going to show you today. Uh, on this page, we provide a simple shell script um, for setting up those Docker networks. Uh, we predefine four networks for you. There's cable, uh, 3G, 3G fast, and 3G slow. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just copy the shell script out and put it in a file on our local machine and then we can have that uh, set up our networks for us. So we've gone ahead and set this up in our networks.shell file. So here it's an exact copy of what we have on the website there. Um, and before we execute this I want to show you that um, I do have a vanilla version of Docker installed with no networks set up. Um, right now I'm running 18.04, which is the latest version of Docker uh, for Linux. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run that shell script. And you might have to run that with sudo and make sure that that file is executable before you run it. What that'll do is that'll go through and that will set up those networks. And then it will apply traffic control, which is a program that's built into Linux uh, on those networks to throttle the network connections. So if we go ahead and list out our networks now, we should see those new predefined networks that were created by that shell script. Um, and then we can actually use those. So we're going to jump back over to the website. And right below that, we actually have a couple of examples on how you would use these predefined networks with our Docker container. So this first one, we're actually setting up using uh, a cable connection. So the two important pieces here, the dash dash network, that tells Docker to use the predefined cable network. And then the dash C is actually used by SightSpeed to define uh, the connection that the test is actually running in for the final report. So if we go over to our terminal and we copy that over, one thing that I want to do before we do this is I'm going to go ahead and then volume mount in my current working directory. Um, the reason for this is that I want that HTML report that gets spit out by SiteSpeed to um, get populated in my current working directory so that I can open it up in my browser and view that report after it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and volume mount that in. We're going to run the default three tests uh, using the cable network um, and the default browser is going to be uh, the Chrome browser. You can switch over to Firefox uh, with the dash, dash B option if uh, you want to test with Firefox. You can see here we're running uh, Node 8, site speed 654, and browser time 250, and coach 1.3. So it's going to go ahead and run those three tests using that cable connection. Um, and then once it completes those three, test, it's going to aggregate those results and write those out to an HTML report, which will be volume mounted to our current working directory. And then we should be able to actually view that report after everything is complete. So let's go ahead and writing out that HTML report. Uh, everything's finished and we should be able to go ahead and open up that uh, report here. So you can see we have an index.html, go ahead and open that up in our browser. And there you have it. We have a site speed run with Chrome, three of those runs, desktop profile, and the connectivity is cable. And then we should be able to analyze our reports and get all the good details from there. So that's all I had to demo today. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to open up Git, GitHub issues with us or join us on our Slack channel. And we'll be able to help you out there.